So hopefully we're good as, uh, today too. But anyways, we are back with day two of Dark Alliance. Uh, this interesting game. But I personally have, have been having a good time with it so far. Um, as far as like playing the game itself, I think that it's definitely one of those games where you, without a party or a team, um, the game does not feel right. Personally, I really, this game would have been perfect as far as like matchmaking if all the other characters were played as, um, if, it, if they were played by the computer and they actually played well, similar to like other RPG games, if they were played by the computer, um, but then it had drop in, drop out, um, matchmaking and things like that. So like if you're in the middle of a dungeon and you're running, running it, like if you already have all four people and somebody can just automatically join in the middle of it and then get rewards from the time that they join to the time that they leave, that would be amazing. But it's a solo game unless if you play with other people, which kind of can be a little rough. Um, not the worst, but finding that match uh, and everything. I'm not sure how easy it is just yet. But I'm gonna right now I'm gonna start my public game. Um last night I was quick matching for a few games, but I kept getting put into the next chapter or the next uh act, I get uh, it's not act, I think it's chapter technically. Because we're on so so the way that the missions work is this is the first we're doing uh, companions of Icewind Dale so you have three acts we did one and two we didn't finish the, the third God, we... uh the goblin shard we unlock next then or no we unlock both of these next and i believe each of these have their own um three acts to them then you have this one as well which actually you okay so you unlock all three of these so that's nine missions or should be just about nine unless if they add more after you beat all three of these. Um, and like I said, they all have three acts. So that's actually a good amount. Like once we finish this, then there's a good amount of stuff we'll be able to do. Um, and maybe I'll do some quick play then. But after those, let's see, the mask of Kelvin. Okay, so after you beat all three of these, then you unlock the mask of Kelvin. And then after you finish that, you unlock Crystalline Dreams. And after that, you unlock the Fury of Icewind. As the final one. Now, most likely this guy's going to leave because there's I'm already playing as his character, of course. <sighs> where it kind of gets a little meh because a lot of people right now in the future um they have said that right now as far as i'm aware too matchmaking is only with the current version that you're playing so i'm not sure if i'm matchmaking with anybody actually on xbox i think everyone that i'm currently playing with or can matchmake with is people that are only using uh xbox on pc there is no they did say there is no current matchmaking between xbox and steam so everybody that has bought it through steam you can't play with it even though you're both playing on pc at this current time um they do plan on patching that and updating it so that way you can i think cross play between all platforms um, I think I know at least Xbox and PC and Steam. I know all those all of those will be together at some point. I don't know about PlayStation and all of them. Um, same thing with uh, yeah, yeah. Same thing with well, I said Steam and and uh, Xbox Game Pass. 
But right now, as far as I know, you can only play with people playing from the Windows 10 store. Um, and people with Steam can only play with people that have the Steam version, which sucks, especially on launch. Like, they should have pushed it back personally to a time where... Um, they should have pushed it back to a point where they actually could match make with everybody. I don't know if I'm talking in game or not, because I see people join, <laughs> and when they join, I see my my mic go off for a second. So I hope I'm not actually talking in game. I have it set to push to talk, so there's no reason for it to to not be. Um. But yeah, it really sucks that, that the game launched in its current state. Oh wait, did I not pick a mission? Whoops, I did not pick a mission. But yeah so those are that's just like one of those few things so far um i really do hope that this game gets those updates um they also plan on allowing it so you can play with any number of uh characters which is go going to be a good uh improvement hopefully um so you'll be able to play with uh, three Druids and one Cadbury, if you want to, or you can play with all dwarves. Um, either way, I mean, I think that it really should probably be like that from the beginning, even though it kind of sucks. Of course, you do want to play with one of each character. If you have the four-man party, then... Then yeah, um, but if not, it's it's Has understandable too. Regis? I doubt we'll hear from him until he's ate and drunk his fill of cool. Grinch Shander's goodwill. So luckily, although we are doing custom match um, and making it public, we got at least one per person to join, and they are ready to start a mission. Um, in all honesty, playing this game by yourself is a big drag, in my opinion, especially when you're missing out on so much dialogue. Like I said, if this game had... Whoa, <laughs> that's interesting how it shows your current loot. Bangor's Span, Bruner's tribute to his father. Say. It's going to hurt him when we bring it down. So many monuments that made these halls home have been lost today. It can't be easy for you either. The door guard does so much damage. Damage we can repair, but I'll admit, wow. there's an emotional price to pay seeing your home destroyed. Would it be that these we would have missed all of that without at least one other character. <laughs> But that's the exact reason. Um, if this game had characters that could play as, uh, or com uh, the computers could play as the other characters, like solo play, so that way you still had a four man party or, or a four person party, then that would be great. And having, on top of that, having drop in, drop out would do so well for this game and i honestly think that in general the game would probably have a lot better reviews um because you would have that party system at all times playing it solo by yourself running dungeons by yourself um not the greatest experience so far 
doable and potentially still fun but when they build a game like this similar to avengers where its main focus is to be a co-op game and you don't implement those features from the get-go of having quick quick play and quick matchmaking it kind of defeats the purpose at that point just make it a single player uh choose your own character customize like do all that instead and then on top if you really want to add a a co-op uh or a multiplayer mode to it but that's just my opinions of course I personally, I mean, even if you just added a allowing an option for people to drop in, drop out uh, while you're in a dungeon. I know, granted, you most likely wouldn't want to have that um, ideally, but I personally think the simplicity of it, having having the, the capabilities of having somebody join mid game even if they just joined for the final boss personally i've been always the type of person that doesn't care about that stuff if somebody joins me like last minute and they get the rewards for killing a boss just as much as i did doesn't bother me whatever they helped me kill the boss sometimes without their help you wouldn't even be able to finish it like i didn't wasn't able to last night so I don't know that's why currently i'm kind of like yes i want to continue playing today because i did have fun playing co-op but depending on how today goes i might end up going back to celasta um tomorrow night and then just continuing that until we finish and eventually return to this game but we'll see i haven't fully made up my mind just yet on that part so i might continue playing it. if match maybe if after we finish these first three missions if matchmaking opens up a whole lot more um for the next few missions then maybe i'll stick stick through it so that way i can do the other ones too but i haven't fully decided just yet I like that majority of people actually do the uh, the loot option. That is a big tower. We don't pick that up or anything. I mean overall i'm still I, I think this game has potential and i'm glad so today um yesterday if you look at the steam reviews um it's it's all very very negative still but uh well if you look at them from yesterday they are very negative um but i am glad that there there appears to be a good amount of people that actually are enjoying the game and that went on and said hey like yeah this isn't perfect but playing with a four person team and like your friends that you do campaigns with and things like that i've seen that people have actually been enjoying it for what it is um and i would say for the most part i'm i'm kind of in that boat too if my friends were were all on tonight and they all had game pass already I would tell them, hey, yeah, hop on. Let's let's run a few missions. Let's uh, do some things and, and see how we'd like it as a group. Because personally, I think it would, it would be a lot more fun 
Um, and I've already watched a few streams where like there was, I haven't seen four party streams, um, but I did see one or two that were uh, two party and they, they were having fun. Um, kind of the, it can sort of at times be like that type of game where it's, yeah, it's so scuffed, it's funny. Um, at times. Of course, that's different when you're fighting a boss and it's very frustrating and then your teammate leaves you. Um, that's where it's frustrating, but if everything's working out well and your teammate stays with each other or your whole team, then hey, it's a different story. But yeah. I do think with time, this, this will definitely get better. Um, in a lot of aspects as it should and also checking out the um, I'll definitely check out whatever the new the ranger or mage class that comes through in the future is blocked. They're blocking all my abilities. that bonus uh there is a thing that we could go back and pick up but i'm really not too worried about it right now so i'm okay with continuing forward as long as we finish this mission here then we'll have the possibilities of being able to play many many more um so like i said i'm all right with that and that way, I think it'll also help with matchmaking since it's not like you have to do one mission and then the next one and then the next one. It opens up three separate areas and you just have to complete uh, three acts in at least all three. So a lot more options. So I tart I I tarted. <laughs> I started one of the uh RA Salvatore books today. Uh which is Homeland. I originally was going to start the Crystal Shard, but then I read I, I read online that um that Homeland is one of the better ones to officially start with and then follow it chronologically. Um, there's a whole list on Reddit. So I did get the audiobook. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks. But um, all of the, the uh, most popular R.A. Salvatore books are only wow. available on Audible. Um, so for that, it's $15 a month and you get one credit um, every, whoops, 
get one credit every month to be able to uh, unlock a book. Um, oh, I accidentally used it on the wrong book at first. That's a pretty cool cutscene. Jeez. Oh no, I didn't mean to use both. Yeah, I know. What the hell? He like knows where I'm at. Oh my god. Please. I'm down. Hi, little baby. Really, dude? You just went. Oh, okay. I, I can't move. And I'm also moving the wrong way. It's disoriented. Dude, what the heck? I'm going e easier difficulty. Force respawn. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. I didn't know it worked like that. Yeah, well, we might as well just wait. Does it kick them out or can they just keep fighting? Oh, they can just keep fighting. I can't get up. God damn it. This. The control is completely flipped. The, everything I did with, to go to the right was going to the left. And same thing in the back and forth. Just go in there. There we go. Ah, oh, that's how that works. That's cool. Criticals are nice. Damn. Okay.
Nice. home was a ruin, and the destruction of Bangor's span, the bridge named for his father, its loss was a heavy burden. The dwarves had to abandon their family, chased from their homes by the goblin and her big remnants of Kessel's arms. These threats and worse had answered the call of Krent Shinnabon. Were the only thing that stood between these creatures, the shard, and the utter destruction of our home. And there it is, Garn and Mordorn. Hold on, chat. There's a doggo going on in the background. I think we get disconnected. Yeah, after... Jeez. After every match, you get disconnected from your group. You can't even stay with your group if you want to. Okay, so we did get some new items here. Oh wow, we got something new for each area. All oh, right, I forgot we got a new scepter. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. The Dragon's Bane armor looks sick. And you get, look at that critical damage. Five pieces, you get 30% extra critical. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 
here's dragon's bane yeah and let's see if um we have a dragon's bane here nope nope no dragon's bane there Spot here. Nope. Legs, yeah, that's what we're wearing. Wait, wait, did that just say Dragon's Bane? No, it did not. I tricked myself. Damn. But still not bad we're uh we just need one more piece which isn't too um horrible for that for that first set bonus at least does it give you this every single time you get to this area it might the other thing that kind of sucks when you do um here we go see now we have all three of these areas and yep they that one has three objectives this one has three objectives and this one has three so that opens up a lot more options for missions at least which is nice uh let's try doing a custom game in public again the one thing that's annoying right now at least is say if i was to matchmake um it's only going to so it's going to throw me into a game but i don't if i want to play this guy um then it can put put me into a game but it's going to make me switch characters if somebody's already playing as them so that's where it's kind of like really dude like really dude but meh um, I'm going to select this one here and since we don't have three dragon. Oh, wait, unless no, I think we already opened everything. Yeah, we did. Rose there for a second. We'll see. To be honest, I might do like one more mission and then play some Celasta because this game is it's cool but it's kind of like the same thing of how I felt with um I don't know I don't even know what just happened right there kind of like the same thing of, of how I felt with um Avengers where starting out is nice But once you actually get into it, you realize you kind of want to just give it time to get patches and everything before, you know, putting more time into it. Maybe level seven for the next ones. Oh, feats. I'm pretty sure somebody joined and then left. We'll see. I could always just match make for my own games. While we're waiting, um, just gonna run that real quick. But yeah. Um, sucks, dude. <laughs> Not really. I mean, yeah, parts of the game, but really hope that this game gets the the updates that it needs and soon, because I, I want to be able to play more. 
Um, I've been debating about maybe playing some uh, Enlisted again sometime soon. I've also been debating about playing or returning to Neverwinter uh, and, and continuing playing more of that because since I started this, <laughs> I've been thinking about Neverwinter and doing party modes and all that and it's free to play. Um, the only thing is I think I would want to start a new character again. <laughs> Which is probably... Eh? Um, but I don't know. We can see on that. I think I would want to finish the last uh, before I did any of that. Um, we still have Yakuza 5 to play. We have uh, Pillars of Eternity I, I want to play at some point. Um, Kingsmaker, same thing. Is this this isn't who I played with earlier? Is it? Hola, hola, hola. Dom Willa. Dom Willa has joined the party. Hello there, Dom. can wait for a fourth or sent his legions to Icewind we can get Day. started yet i fear the worst is yet to come when we've dealt with them here i say we make a trip to i'll jump in hit that devil where it hurts oh, oh. the only thing that also kind of sucks if you don't play with a party of one of each character like you can right now then you're gonna get stuck with not uh you're not gonna get any of the uh voice lines or certain ones so that last mission that we did with the caddy brie um we wouldn't have gotten that mission or i mean we wouldn't have gotten the voice line yo what's going on legend how you doing man what up what up dude Uh, I'm not a big book reader, but I got recommended this book series. I'm gonna give it a try. What book series? Did somebody skip the cutscene? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Sorry, dude. I don't know why it timed you. Hold on. Let me time untime you out. I thought that you were talking about politics because I have certain words Goblins killed my father um automatically my father. did you know that more reason than to take vengeance upon them perhaps I just wish they wouldn't force ouch my hand. ouch wait what the heck is going on here <laughs> the bodies books true That's cool. Um, I, I'm not a much of a, a book reader either, but audiobooks I can do. Um, I actually picked up. Uh, there's a book that is very heavy for um, like Dungeons and Dragons people. It's called uh, Homeland, and it's actually I think one of the this game is technically based off of the book, including the character. Or the books. Because there's many of them, not just one. 
It's R.A. Salvatore's Homeland um, is the first one. Or, well, chrono chronologically the first one. But there's, like, three books for each, like, uh, chapter or, like, plot, I guess, in a way. I don't know how to, how to say. Storyline? Campaign? There's a lot of poison resistance stuff here. Wait, can we destroy these? Let's see. <laughs> okay. So if you stay away from the center, oh geez. But if you just walk on the edge, you're fine. It's weird. series uh i just said before i got oofed all the characters have like metal powers interesting that's cool sounds pretty neat all right i think we're probably better going this way unless if maybe they are going that way Oh, okay. That's not bad at all. Do you like, like, reading, reading? Um, because I, I, I don't have the mindset of sitting down and reading a book. The only thing I can do sometimes is, uh, comic books. But I have to be in the mood for it. Like, I, I, I haven't read a comic book in a while now. But, like, regular books... When there's so many other things I can be doing, the last thing on my mind is pick up a book and read. <laughs> Whoa there, Kiara. Whoa. Okay. Data and interested. Okay. I, I did have, I've had like maybe one or two books in my lifetime where like I was actually interested and wanted to like continue reading. But since then, it's, it's very hard for me to get into books like that. At least I haven't since like high school. Give us that loot boost. We don't need no heals. I thought you were summoned to the tower. I don't know. I'm what the Emperor will do to you. Well, that, but. Slug dog. Watch out! Oh god! What's up here? Wait, did they want to go this way? 
Yes, we can. What do the dwarves call this valley? They thought that it would keep us up. I'm gonna go for the archer. Definitely feels better once you have more moves. Now I get a uh, a damage. What the fuck? <laughs> now I get a damage bonus when I do a dash and then attack. Ah, okay. Where does this take us? Interesting. Oh, whoops. There's so many chests everywhere. Uh, do you want to go back? Wait, does it automatically pull him? Oh. Yes. Nice. Ah! I think we have to go back up that way anyways. Maybe. I don't know. I'm so confused which ways we're, we're forced to go and which ways we don't have to go. Oh shit, he's down. Should be able to force respawn. Said I have fallen for a second there. It's a big chest. And piece. All right, let me open the door for Kiara. I'm amazed that there are no emotes in this game. How do you have a Dungeons and Dragons game and no like, huzzah, I don't know. Some like call out button or like voice line option. I don't know, I wanna be able to like press a button and do like a war cry as we're running into battle. Oh, 
I've also seen a lot of people, or well, a few people say like the stamina system is like doesn't really like fit well in this type of game. Which I think I might have to agree. It's kind of weird. Like I get it for using like special abilities, but having a stamina system and like if you're spamming your attacks, I don't know. It's like light and heavy attacks. Okay, so I think we might, uh, no, can't jump. That's weird. Chad, I think after we finish this mission here, I'm gonna chill on uh, Dark Alliance for a bit until they put out some updates and other stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's fun. I I enjoy the combat, but I'm kind of within the same mindset as I I am in. Uh, Avengers where I really like the combat and everything but there's other issues within the game that's taking away from it so in the meantime I'd rather play other games that are in a state where they should be uh, to fill the void while I wait for these types of games so I think that's going to be the call um like I said, I mean, if, if I get my uh, other friends at some point and they're all, they all pick up Game Pass and like we're like, all right, let's give it a shot now. All four of us are on, or even one of them, even one of them, I would join, join in and do one person, um, like co-op. But by yourself and with randoms in its current state, I mean, I wouldn't be able to play with a four-man four party if I'm going to play with randoms, which you can, but... Yeah. I don't know which way to go. There's so many options. I do think after patches and everything, this game has the potential of becoming like the Vermintide 2 of uh, third-person games. So I, I hope... I hope three months down the line, uh, three to six months, depending on, on how dedicated they are to upping, <laughs> quite literally upping their game, <laughs> uh, will depend on the, the state of this game and now and then. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I still have hopes though. I don't I don't know anything about these developers. So there's potential. I'm gonna let him decide whether you what he wants to do. I mean, we can lose the bonus. You decide. I'm fine with either one. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Um, it looks like there might be stuff over here. Do 
he in combat? He is. Okay. There's so much to do. Honestly, I the one thing that I'm impressed about is there's so many different paths you can take. Although it is like a select a mission, it, it's pretty surprising how many. Oh god, did he just fall off the edge? I fell off the edge. It is pretty surprising how many. Like we could have gone left down there. We could keep going up here. Like there's there's a good amount of uh, different areas you can explore. And, all of that so as far as exploration and environments they have done a, a pretty good job um it's everything else combat uh mouse movements or just camera movements is weird uh Oh god. good stuff <laughs> that actually worked oh well I forgot yeah there's actually a ladder right here what time is it 747 already dude what um chat just to say I, I will not be on on um, Friday, going to see Fast and Furious. So I'm looking forward to uh, checking that out. That should be fun. Uh, and then tomorrow night I should be on. Cause tonight I don't think there's anything going on tomorrow. So that's fine. And yeah, we'll see about we'll see about the weekend. Uh, maybe at some point, but I don't know. Probably Sunday night at least. down friend i'm down can't tell if he's trying to get me but yes nice I wish the um your right click was was like a push forward dash ability in a way you decide you decide okay yep that's fair enough i feel like we kind of needed that Like these environments look pretty damn cool. Where's that take us? Let's find out. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at that. 
So it's worth. Nice. Attribute point two. Good call, dude. Good call. I think we need to kill this spell people first. I like that guy's like uh abilities. I think they're pretty cool. Personally, I will probably rank it. As far as characters, although I haven't played all of them yet, um, I do like playing as Dritz. I think that's pretty cool so far. Um, I think personally, just from like character looks and everything, Dritz, uh, Wolfgar, then probably Caddy Bree, and then uh, the Dwarf. But that's also because I've never really been one to like be like a dwarf in these types of games. So, but they're they're all cool, like in itself. I just uh, can't believe we're we're probably missing out on so much conversation right now because we only have two characters. So, so like you would hear a little back and forth between them if we did have. Collect. You would have probably tried to eat it. The funny thing is, I'm 100% more of a ranger person, too. But this is probably the one character that I, um, I feel like fits me the most. All the, the starting classes really aren't fully um, me. I mean, Caddy Bree is, but I don't really want to play as her, to be honest. So that's why I have the mage. Though I'm I'm very interested. Whenever the mage or the sorcerer, whatever it is, comes. I think that will be really neat. Um, a neat addition to the game. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. De delete defeat slug slug log very well we shall dude i want to know what the community's opinions are on on the stamina because holy crap i lose stamina so fast and I feel like it's very, like, counterintuitive. 
I think they should honestly just decrease the amount of stamina abilities. <laughs> He's run fly. The same exact way uh, Avengers ends. Like right when you finish a villain sector or a mission, it just pauses. Stop. And it's like, here's your loot. Now here's your stat breakdown. Ugh. Fun time. It is, it is fun though, actually. It's just, yeah. I did so much. He actually did a good amount of more damage. No executions. Stay with me, friends, and I'll keep you. Safe. Attacks performed really. Level five. And I got one. He got two. Oh. Really? All right, now we're probably going to get this connected. Probably, uh, I haven't played a game yet where we've been able to return back to the base successfully without getting the you've been disconnected screen first. There it is. You've been disconnected. And just like that. Um. Chat. For now, after I check out this equipment, that's actually pretty cool. Not going to lie. So I'll equip that. Um, but for now, I think we're going to put... Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance on pause personally um, it's just not in a current state where really I can recommend it for anybody um, unless if you have game pass and you have friends to, to automatically play with already in that case absolutely I think it, it is fun but um, constantly trying to play with randoms right now and then getting disconnected right after you match up and there's no crossplay currently or anything like that makes it kind of rough for wanting to constantly rematch or try finding new people um if it kept us in the same party and like they were down to continue doing more missions and stuff like of course yeah i would chill i would stay and keep playing more missions but unfortunately right this second it is not um so in that case, it, it really, it really sucks for, for that part. Um, unfortunately, I think the foundation is, is here for this game. I think over time, um, there's possibilities of, of this game being pretty cool. The roadmap is pretty decent so, uh, from what it looks like. So there's, there's potential, but for now, um, waiting it out. And until it's in a state where, um, you know, you can actually play it, I think is, is the good route to go. Unless, like I said, if you have this that poor man or at least one other but, person uh, that can play. Like if I get one friend room, that wants to play it or anything like that, absolutely, sky. I will jump back in. But for now, um, I'm going to stay posted with their Twitter 
and all of that and see what updates that come out what patches i'll check reddit things like that and when there is a significant update or if there's crossplay, something like that i'll jump back in play if I, if we're having fun i'll play all night so, if not we'll continue guys, with whatever other stuff. game i'm playing so for now